Do you ask yourself, what is God's Word? His Word is in the Bible. I will endeavor to share some Bible stories with you. Ladies and gentlemen, the story you're about to hear is true. I'm a detective. Abramowitz, Joe, just the facts, ma'am. I didn't see anything, but I know what happened. A certain man had two sons. The youngest one asked his father to give him the money that he would inherit. And then he just took off, left town. The guy went wild. Greed got a hold of him. He spent all the money. He wasted it and he was reckless. He carried on like a fool until he had nothing left. Then things got even worse. A famine came. Famine came along. Now he was in such destitution that he actually had to hire himself out. He was sent into the fields to feed the pigs. Nobody gave him anything. So he was fighting with the pigs to eat the corn husks that the pigs were eating. He wanted their food, which was slop. That's when, by the grace of God, it came to his mind that even the servants at his father's house had bread to eat. He thought, I'm gonna go home to my father and tell him that I have sinned. He decided to tell his father that he's no longer worthy to be his son. But please, he was going to ask him, make me one of your servants. The father saw him coming and he ran to him. The father was so delighted. He started giving him everything. He even made a feast. But his older brother went a little crazy. This brother was working so hard in the fields, he heard this music and people's voices shouting with joy. He couldn't imagine what was up, what was going on. He saw one of the servants and asked, what is going on? The servant told him, hey, your brother came home and your father is celebrating. Like I said, he felt crazy angry and he wouldn't even go in the house. His father found out and went out to the older brother. The father begged him to come inside. The brother said, you know, I've helped you all these years, obeying all your commands. You never gave me a party. The father answered him, son, you are always with me. All that I have is yours, but we need to have this party for your younger brother. Your brother was dead as far as I knew. And thank God, because yes, he is alive. He was lost and now he is found. This is a story Jesus told as a parable. Jesus' parables are based on real life situations. Bottom line, each one of us is precious to God. God celebrates the return of one who is lost. Prodigal Son, Luke chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. Well, we're done for today. I'm leaving. Please view the comments from A.M. Jordan. Go to the section in the Bible that I listed and read it for yourself.